everyone, hi there today, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3420 with a regulatory model number which is P22G and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can replace the keyboard, the entire keyboard if you have a keyboard that you spill some water and all some keys are not responding it's easy, very easy, you can remove it, you don't need many tools or anything like that and you can do it at home by yourself I'll leave the link for a new keyboard in the video description if you guys are interested if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel you can do it by clicking like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it all right to get it started first thing first you need to power off the keyboard uh, the keyboard i'm saying you need to power off the laptop next you need to grab yourself a guitar pick or an opening tool i like guitar picks because they're really tough and they have a soft edges and metallic is really suitable to opening cases and covers so with this on hand, we're going to go and remove the keyboard. If you pay attention to the keyboard, you're going to see a few clips on the top row, right there on top of the escape, F5, F6 right there, F11, and on the delete, there's a tiny clicks, clips right there. So we, what we want to do, we want to push those clips towards the screen and scoop down the keyboard right there, bring it up. And then let go, do the same thing in here. On the second key, push and scope, push and scope. The same one. This one has a little cover broken, but yeah, push and it's cool. And now I'll, from the middle, bring it up and it should get itself released. You want to bring it to this side up and you're going to see uh, this flex cable right here. This side up, it says. To remove this one, all you need to do is put your finger nail right under this black cover rod right there and lift it up 90 degrees toward this side. And then you want to grab the flex cable and bring it up. This is the model for this one. I'll leave the part number. Uh, model is an SN6121. This is a LA, Latin America version. But well, yours might be a US version. So, but this one is an SN6121. You can place any style keyboard you want, Spanish, uh, Chinese, or different language. So let's say you got the new keyboard in. To place it in, you want to put it on the side way like this. You want to bring it up, twist it. As when you see this side up, it says you want to open up the lock. And these ones have a little earlobes in on them on the side on both sides. So those earlobes has to go in 45 degrees towards the jack. So you want to bring it in 45 degrees. I'm gonna use a curved tweezer so I don't cover the camera. So I'm gonna hold it from the corner. I'm gonna slide it in 45 degree. And once I see those earlobes are in the jack, I'm simply going to close the lock. Now I'm going to twist up the keyboard, bring it up. You want to put the bottom end of the keyboard right under the palm rest first. Slide it under palm rest in 45 degree angle. Bring it up and sit it down. Now we don't want to push down on the top row because the clips are not going to slide out. Easiest way to do is to bring it down with this one underneath, bring it in. And now push it down and then remove this one, the opening tool. Now the lock is in place. Same thing here. Scoop it under the keyboard, push down, lift up. Same thing. Push down, lift up. That way the clip underneath, it will slide very easy. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did like it, please click that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.